Anyone was in that movie, please come on down. All right, thank you. <laughs> and a big round of applause for a man who loves his horse, the future action star of the United States of America, Lou Rico! Yeah. My pleasure. Thank you for having us, Kansas City. <laughs> uh, screening, this film was, uh, uh, it won an award, and I heard, I, I was drunk, but I heard <laughs> Best Narrative Feature. Uh, Woo! Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the best feature. Oh, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Would you rather fight one giant beaver or hundreds of beavers? Lou and I have debated this at last. Yeah. <laughs> 100, fighting 100 beavers takes 108 minutes, which apparently is too long an amount of time. <laughs> fighting one beaver, you die instantaneously, and apparently one minute is a good amount of time for Hollywood. <laughs> well, not so much a question as... As much as I enjoyed it, uh, from the title, Hundreds of Beavers, I think I was misled. <laughs> so, uh, only five beavers. <laughs> they duplicated but, the post-production process. But, uh, ser no, serious, uh, serious question. Um, for the rest of the music, uh, was it all from the DeWolf catalog? Ca it was all from the DeWolf catalog, except for the, song. the opening song written by
<laughs> well, an, an obvious one. How the hell did you? I, that started this. That started this all. I know. Uh, what kind of what to expect from Lake Michigan Monster, but this even goes beyond that. So, how the hell did it come to having a raccoon hat on your head and the whole concept? We like a uh, most extreme elimination challenge. <laughs> remember that? Remember yeah. TNT or whatever that was called? And they take Takeshi's castle and they dub it for U.S. audiences and people, small people that weren't athletic would try and cross a river and it was funny. And there was also Tom Bergeron introducing okay. the old uh, uh, America's Funniest Home Videos which was prophetic, and it's become our whole culture. <laughs> now the entire culture is TikTok of people watching what is essentially America's Funniest Home Videos, and we like the physical pain of Jill's son getting hurt in the snow, and it grew from that. Wayne, care to add anything? No. <laughs> yes. What made you decide to make a silent film? The silent film was a way to get out of uh, being bad writers. <laughs> there was a time when writers had all studied the classics, and they would casually drop references to the Greeks and to Shakespeare. And Ryland and I, we knew we weren't going to do that. So we had to just focus on Abbott and Costello. Do you have a question? <laughs> um. You, where where has this been shown before, and what's going to happen next? Oh we premiered in Austin, Texas. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Hollywood of the South. <laughs> and a film festival called Fantastic Fest. But everyone knows Kansas City's film festival is better. <laughs> now we're doing a lot. We're trying to play every landlocked city in April. Nothing. This is an unsubstantiated <laughs> online gossip. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, slander. <laughs> so, most people don't know this because I'm from Michigan, not Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> And this man is in the box. <laughs> I live in California! Wait! Give me my hat. <laughs> give me my hat. Alright, so we did a GoFundMe. And we, we, were, we were almost done with the production. But we needed $35. And this man paid $35 to be the director. <laughs> and I regret this every day because it's not true. And I'm going to give 